Um, hello, so today as part of um, a series on time complexity, we will take a look at some common time complexity functions, um, how they relate to each other and what their um, growth is in relation to each other, just to help us more when we are um, solving coding problems, um, identify what complexities, what, what complexity a given algorithm is and like is that really bad or is that really good. Um, and yeah, just get more practice into time complexity functions. So let's start off with polynomials. So polynomials are um, an algorithm is of polynomial time is um, if it's run if it's run time or or if it's running time is upper bounded by a polynomial expression um, in the size of its input. So what this means basically is if you have the size of the input is n. Um, then a po we say that the algorithm has a polynomial time if its running time is bounded by um, O of n to the power of x. So just is bounded by a polynomial expression. Um, so that is things like um, the running time bounded by O of n squared, O of n to, uh, to the power of 3. Um, those are polynomial time algorithm O of n to the power of 4 and you can go up. Um, so if that running time is bounded, is upper bounded, right? It's it's upper bounded by a polynomial expression, um, of course, in the size of the input, then we say that the algorithm has polynomial running time. Um, one thing to note here is that a, um, an algorithm can be polynomial time even if its running time is not written as, is not written as n to the power of some integer, right? It can be, for example, so it's over to the power of x, and this x doesn't have to be an integer. It can be a number like 1.59, um, 1 divided by 2, so half, so uh, which is O of uh, square root of n. So O of square root of, if an algorithm has a running time O of square root of n, then we can say that it's polynomial time algorithm still. Also, some algorithms that are not like directly, the running time itself is not directly over to the power of x. Um, like, for example, Omen Lagen, which a lot of sourcing algorithms have, this is still polynomial time. We can still say this is polynomial time. Why? Because um, we, we said here it's upper bounded by a polynomial time expression. So when the upper bound of the running time is a polynomial time expression, we can still say that the algorithm has a polynomial running time. So in the case of Omen Lagen, um, this we can say that it's polynomial time because O of n log n is upper bounded by O of n to the power of 2. Why is that? Because um, log of n is definitely smaller, at least smaller or equal to n, is smaller or equal to n for all n bigger or equal to 1. And so if we multiply by n both sides, we get n log n is smaller or equal to n squared, right? And this is like the definition of the upper bound, which is the O here. Um, and so we can say that n log n is upper bounded by O of n squared, right? Since this is literally the definition of of what um, of a function f n is upper bounded by a g n if we can find um, something like this where f of n is more or equal to some constant c multiplied by g of n. And here our g of n is n to the power of 2, our constant is just 1, and it needs to be for all n bigger or equal to some n0, and so our n0 value here is 1. Um, yeah, so that's, so in summary, polynomial time is when it's over to some power x, um, and when it's upper bounded by that, by a polynomial expression, and so um, it doesn't have, the running time itself, it doesn't have to be exactly a polynomial expression, but as long as it's upper bounded by a polynomial time, we can say that it's polynomial time. Um, the next category of common time complexity function we'll take a look at is logarithms. So logarithms is log base b of n. Um, and so this is usually the number x such that um, we can say that log base b of, of n is equal to x. This means basically that b to the power of x is equal to n, right? So b to the power of x is equal to n is equivalent to x equal to log base b of n. And so how fast does log n with base b grows? Um, one thing to, one, one way to look at it is that if we round it down to the nearest integer, um, then it is one less than the number of digits in the base b representation of the number n. 
So it is the just one less than the number of digits in the base B representation of the number. And so, for example, let's say let's take lag base two of n. Um, then this means that one plus lag base two of n. If we round that down, down like if we get like um, some zero point something, we round it down. Then this value here is actually just the number of bits needed to represent n in binary, right? So you can see it's very small because usually when we, rep we can represent a big a big number with a smaller number of with a very small number of bits, right? Um, and so yeah, one thing to keep in mind is lag base b of n is a very slowly growing function. It grows very slowly. So if we have a, an algorithm that has this runtime, then it should be very fast. Um, one thing to note is that lag base b of n is asymptotically bounded by every function of the form n to the power of x. So what this means basically is that logarithms uh, functions are asymptotically bounded by every polynomial, right? Um, and so you you can see this by just doing the f just doing the um, something like we did here for n lag n, um, you can find a constant such that f of x, if f is, um, or f of n, if, uh, if the function is the logarithm, is more or equal to some c g of n, such as that g of n is a, po is a polynomial. Um, and so, yeah, this is just, keep in mind that log base b of n is upper bounded by every polynomial. Um, one thing also to keep in mind is that um, we can translate between different um, lo in, with logarithms. We can translate between different bases when using asymptotic notation. This is because of this formula here. So log base a of n is actually equal to a log base b of n divided by log base b of a, right? Um, this is the function. This is just a known formula. Now. Why do we? Um, why? How can we use this? Actually, so often you can see you you will see people saying like um, um, some algorithm is bounded by o of lag n or has runtime of lag n without mentioning the base, right? Without mentioning if it's base two, if it's base three, four, five, um, without indicating the base of the logarithm. And this is because actually it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter because according to this um, formula. This means that log base a of n is actually equal to 1 divided by log base b of a multiplied by log base b of n. And 1 divided by log base b of a is actually a constant. So this is a constant. So what this would mean is actually we we know, we we found the that log base a of n is actually equal to theta of log base b of n. So it doesn't matter. So we can, if we say log n, it doesn't matter which base since they are all tightly bounded by each other, right? And so, um, so it's not important when writing asymptotic narration to say which base, since they will have very similar growth, um, or at least close. And so that's why we omit it often when speaking about the running time of an algorithm. Okay, so the third category we are going to take a look at is exponentials. So exponential functions are actually of the form f of n equal to r to the power of n. Right, so the base here is r, and the power is n. So something like two to the power of n, three to the power of n, five to the power of n. So this is like much much faster rates of growth than polynomials. Um, and just to take, and similar to that, the log logarithms are always bounded by the polynomials. Um, here, for every r bigger than one and every d bigger than zero, we have that n to the power of a or n to the power of d actually is equal to o of r to the power of n. What this means is basically that n to the power of d is bounded by r to the power of n. So what this means is upper bounded by r to the power of n. Um, and so this means that that every, uh, every polynomial is upper bounded by exponential, by every exponential function essentially. So yeah, again, just to reiterate, every exponential function grows faster than every polynomial. So what this would mean is that getting a polynomial running time is always better 
than having an exponential uh, function. So sometimes you'll see also people write um, time of log of, alg of an algorithm, just say that the running time of an algorithm is exponential. Um, similar way to, in a similar way to a logarithm, they will say that the runtime is exponential without specifying actually which base, like without specifying which R here. So they will just say exponential instead of saying 2 to the power of n or 3 to the power of n. Unlike the logarithm case where not specifying the base is fine because these are, um, they are equivalent essentially almost. Here it's not the case, right? Because um, it's never true that for different bases, let's say R and S, where we pick just R to be bigger than S, it's never the case that R to the power of N is equal to theta of S to the power of N. It's not bounded, it's not tightly bounded by it, right? Um, and so, the, usually when we say a running time algorithm of an algorithm is exponential, it's not because they are equivalent, because they are not, it's because just it's because the when we say an algorithm is exponential the running time grows at least as fast as some exponential function any exponential function 2 to the power of n 3 to the power of n but because exponentials grow so fast no matter which base you pick they grow so fast um we can just dismiss that algorithm right away without looking at more exact running time right um if we found um a solution that is exponential Regardless of the base, we can just dismiss it and try to find a better polynomial solution. Um, so that's why um, usually when, you, when we hear that an algorithm is exponential, we know right away that it's really not performant and it grows very fast. So just in summary, um, to um, put everything together, um, logarithms grow more slowly than polynomials. Polynomials grow more slowly than exponentials. Um, so what this means basically is that logarithms, um, algorithms with running time that is, uh, with logarithms running time are faster than those with running time that is polynomial. And those with polynomial running time are faster than those with exponential running time. And so you can think of it as O of 1 is smaller than O of log n, O of log n is smaller than O of n, O of n is smaller than O of n log n, O of n log n is smaller than O of n squared, smaller than O of n cube and smaller than O of n O of 2 to the power of n. So here we have the logarithms and then after that we have the uh, polynomials starting from O of n and then until O of n to the power of 3 and then after that we have exponentials um, with 2 to the power of n. So with this graph you can see even like in a plot of, um, of these functions um, uh, based on the number of elements of, of the input, so based on the size of the input, and on the y-axis we have the number of operations. Um, so you can see for O of 1 it's really small, O of log n is really small as well, O of n is really, uh, grows really slowly as well, but then O of n log n grows a bit faster, O of n to the power of 2 grows yeah, a lot faster, and then once we start to, to the power of n, and in factorial, it becomes really, really fast. It grows really, really fast. It's almost like vertical. Um, so yeah, just keep this in mind. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this. Um, thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Bye.